My name is Michelle Krista Smith, and I'm a professional ninja. For the past 13 years, I have been working as a professional stunt woman and acrobat in film, television, and on stage. Some of the shows you may have seen me in are Deadpool, Arrow, Smallville, Percy Jackson, there's more. I've been a performer my entire life, and I always will be. But where my real passion lies is teaching. I believe that we learn and acquire new skills so that we can pass them on and share them with other people. So not only do I teach staff manipulation, baton twirling, acrobatics, and fitness, I inspire people to discover their own inner ninja and unleash their inner badass. Because there was a time when I too had to go on a journey to find my own inner badass. When I was five years old, I joined a sport called baton twirling. By the age of nine, I was competing at nationals, and by 11, I was competing at my very first world championships in Italy. I would go on to compete at Worlds for eight consecutive years after that. I brought home a bronze, three silver, and a gold medal. So I guess you could say I was kind of good at it. But baton was everything for me. It was my life. I didn't go to school dances. I didn't participate in any extracurricular activities. I didn't even go to my own high school graduation. Baton always took top priority. In 2013, when I was 19 years old, I decided I was gonna compete at my very last world championships in Barcelona, Spain. My intention was to leave my baton career on a high with this gold medal around my neck. However, that is not what happened for me in Barcelona. Instead, I allowed myself to get distracted by some of the drama and politics of international competition. And then rather than performing this amazing routine that I had envisioned myself doing, I completely bombed. It was terrible. It was like a slow motion train wreck come to life. And I ended up leaving Spain thoroughly embarrassed, heartbroken, and completely devastated. But you know what? I was also angry. I was angry at myself and I was angry at my batons for having let me down. And I vowed to put them away and never touch them again. And I did that for many years. As soon as I returned home from Spain, I moved to Vancouver to pursue my professional career. I joined the circus where I learned how to climb and perform in all these amazing apparatus and lift small French people above my head. From circus, I found stunts and martial arts, which opened me up to a whole new world of movement. It was incredible. But you know what? For however long my resume grew, I never felt successful. And all the while, there's this little voice in my head going, Michelle, your batons, remember your batons. But I was still so angry and hurt by them that I just completely ignored that intuition and did what I do best, training and performing. I just buried myself in my work. 10 years into my career, I woke up and looked at myself in the mirror and I didn't recognize the person that I saw. I was dangerously thin, spiritually, emotionally, physically, exhausted. I didn't know who I was, what I was doing, or why I was doing it. I was just this empty shell of a person, and that terrified me. And I decided right then and there that it was time to take a break. And on that break, I found myself walking 800 kilometers across Spain on a pilgrimage called the Camino de Santiago with nothing but my backpack, the shoes on my feet, and myself. And it was here that I discovered clarity. And it was here that I discovered myself for the very first time. I realized that I had been putting on this facade of a tough girl in order to survive an elite competition and professional career. But I wasn't even that person. No, instead I was soft and feminine and quirky and weird and kind of funny. It was like meeting somebody you've loved your entire life for the very first time. But most importantly, I remembered. I remembered that I have a gift and that I'm a baton twirler. And that's pretty fucking awesome. I realized that my batons are just as much a part of me as my own arms and legs. They are my soul. They're my connection to the universe. And I couldn't believe I had ever put them down. And three years later, here I am. I'll never put my batons away again. Sure, I want to evolve it into something that's way more accessible and cool. We'll get there, it's happening. 
but I have the honor and the privilege of being able to share my story and my gift with millions of people all over the world. Because I really, truly believe that we all have an inner badass ninja just waiting to be unleashed. If only we have the courage to find it.